Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I, ho I hope uh, in the last video you have already uh, learned that Quantum Espresso is a very powerful uh, software to calculate quantum mechanics. And um, in this video I will show you how to download and, um, and give you some links of some uh, useful resources. So the most important uh, resource would be uh, the official website, quantumespresso.org. And uh, you can just Google Quantum Espresso, and this would be the first one. Um, you can see there are download resources and pseudo potentials. And those two are the most important ones, I think. And uh, if you click on this down download, you will be given this page. And it is also quite uh, quite redundant, but you can. Uh, there are a lot of information, but you just cli click on this uh, GitHub download page or perhaps here yeah and then you will be redirect redirected to github uh, and you scroll down you'll find this source code dot tar dot gz yeah this is the file that we are uh, that you want to download um, in the in the in, in one later video i will show you how to uh, uh, how to uh, unzip this uh, file and how to uh, compile the source code. Um, the second thing that you you may also want to download is the pseudo potential files. So the pseudo potential files they are the I, I think they are the center part of uh, DFT. That if your pseudo potential is chosen to be good, your result will be good. If your pseudo potential is not good, your result uh, will will deviate from from what you want. So this is important, and you should always try different student potential files, uh, and uh, just go go to this uh, pseudo potentials uh, in the in the Quantum Espresso official site, and you will see uh, this big elementary table, and those uh, elements that are labeled red have uh, uh, have available uh, pseudo potential files. And those uh, labeled gray uh, don't have, but but it seems that you uh, we will never use uh, the elements that, that are here. They are radioactive. Um, so, so basically, whatever com compound, whatever uh, material that consists of uh, these uh, red elements, you can you can calculate with quantum espresso. Yeah. And uh, so this is the PS library, which is the uh, which is the default uh, library of uh, Quantum Espresso. And on the left, you will be able to find uh, external uh, pseudo potential libraries. And uh, for example, SSSP pseudo dojo that I also also tried a PS library table. This this one and uh, this HGH I think I also tried. Uh, usually they give similar results, but you really have to uh, um, to try around. For example, if you use silicon, you would like to try uh, silicon in in different libraries and see whether they give consistent result. What I usually use is in this library because this SSP SSSP library is well maintained and um, it, it gives good result and uh, it is uh, also verified for. Uh, all of the elements inside that library, so I would uh, I would highly recommend this one. Um, yeah, and uh, so some useful resources. The the most useful one is the uh, official website. You can find the download link. You can find the super to the potential files, files, and. Um, and there are some other important resources, for example, the documentation you can also find in the uh, official website, and uh, examples offered by the software. So with the software, it comes along with some examples, and, and uh, usually they are quite good. In different aspects, you, sh you should uh, try to run them. Uh, and uh, 
Yeah, and also the, the pseudo potentials that I al already mentioned. You can find uh, find a library in the official side. You can also find the um, links to the external pseudo potential library on the official sites. For example, this SSSP. If you have any uh, questions, uh, like if you encounter some bugs, I s recommend that you first Google it. May maybe this is this is something that uh, that many people have seen. So that in that case, I it will offer you the, the correct uh, way to solve it. And of course, you, sh you should also consult the um, documentations. And on the next video, I will uh, show you uh, the, the download and uh, the, the website uh, hands-on using a web browser. And uh, in a later vid uh, video, I would show you how to install and how, or we say how to compile the source file of Quantum Espresso, which is usually the most uh, annoying and difficult part. Uh, of using quantum, quantum espresso. Okay, uh, so thank you for watching my video today and uh, hope, hope to see you next time.